Parts Price Matrix Setup. The Parts Price Matrix feature in MaxTrax is used to automate the calculation of your parts selling price. The matrix applies your pricing method and you can have multiple matrices to apply to different parts from various suppliers. Let's take a look. From the menu bar, click Parts Manager and select Parts Price Matrix down here. And here is where our various part price matrices are listed. I have a matrix for dealer parts, the default, my jobber pricing, and I created a special matrix for pricing out my oil filters. To create a new parts price matrix, click the Add button in the lower left. First, we need to give it a description, and this is what will be listed in the parts matrix drop list for us to choose from. Let's name this one CarQuest, and we'll create a matrix that we would apply specifically to our CarQuest purchases. First thing you'll notice is that a new matrix will have a zero level to start. So we begin creating our matrix levels by editing this level first, and then we can add more levels. So with this line highlighted, click the edit button, and this window opens. The starting part cost field on this first level is always zero. It's grayed out, we cannot change it, see? This first level of pricing will apply to all parts that cost more than zero cents up to the next price level we enter in the matrix. And we'll get into that in a moment. We also have here different pricing methods. The default method is a sales price dollar amount. This would be a fixed selling price like $5 for every part with a cost that falls in this level. This option is not used very much actually, so I'm going to use a profit margin based on cost method for this example, and we'll explore the other methods after we create this CarQuest matrix. Click the radio button for profit margin before entering the profit margin amount, and let's start with 60%. Now this means we're going to sell our parts for a 60% profit margin if that part is over zero cents up to the next level. If we just saved our CarQuest matrix at this point, all parts purchased from CarQuest would be sold based on this 60% profit margin. Most shops usually have a couple of levels in each matrix. Now, one more thing on this screen. I entered the 60% for price A. I could have a better pricing for price B if I wanted, say for my fleet customers that bring me a lot of business. So let's do that. We'll enter price B as 50% and then click OK. And we click the Add button again to set the next level. Now notice the Starting Part Cost field is now active. We enter the next level in our matrix here. Let's make it $5. So this means that parts that cost us $5 or more up to the next level we enter will be priced at a 55% profit margin. Be sure to click the radio button before you enter your amount. See, this says $55. Now we want it to be a percentage, and again, we'll give a break to our fleet customers at price B. And click OK. For our third level, let's say parts costing $25 to $50. We will sell for a 50% profit margin. Now I set up to 50, so we know that our next level will need to start at $50. And again, special pricing for our Price B customers. And here we are going to sell at this level at a 45% profit margin. And Price B. And let's make our next level 40% for all parts costing us $100 or more. and click OK. See our different levels here? Now let's click Edit a minute and look at something else. We could set a level C price here and use a different pricing method. Let's say we want to use a cost multiplier instead of profit margin for price C. We would click that radio button and enter the cost multiplier number, let's say 2. So the selling price is 2 times the cost. 
Let's go look at my oil filters matrix to learn about the fixed dollar markup method. We could highlight and click edit or just double click here. Now notice my first level in this matrix is for oil filters that cost a penny to $1.99. I'll double click on that line. And see I have fixed dollar markup selected. So the way I price my oil filters is if a filter cost me a dollar, I sell it for $4. This is calculated on the cost plus the fixed dollar markup of $3. If I have a filter that costs me $1.99, I sell it for $4.99, the $1.99 plus three bucks. Now let's look at my next level. For filters that cost me $2 to $3.99, see my next level starts at four above here. So a $3 filter for me, I would sell for $5.50 by adding the 250 to the cost. See the pattern? And last, any part that costs me $4 or more, I add $2 to the cost. No matter how much that filter costs me, I still just add on two bucks. Similarly, I can use that first method here if I wanted. Let's go back to that first level. I could say that any filter that costs me between a penny and $1.99 I'm going to sell at a sales price of $4.95, period. As long as that part costs me less than $2, it's $4.95. Let's do the next level. So any filter I pay $2 to $3.99 for, I would sell for a single sales price of $5.95, again, period. Now this would not make sense for the next level, let's see why. If I said any part that cost me $4 or more, because of course I don't have another level, I would sell for a single sales price, let's say $7.95. I could be selling a filter that cost me 10 bucks for $7.95. So I wanted to show you how this method works, but I like the fixed dollar markup method better for things like oil filters. I would say the profit margin is by far the most common method used. Now these buttons down here allow you to add, edit, or delete each individual level. And after you make changes to an existing parts price matrix, you can click this button down here, apply matrix to part records, to update the calculated selling price on all parts with that matrix selected in their part record to reflect the changes you just made. And here you can add, edit, or permanently delete each matrix on your master list. And this concludes the lesson on parts price matrix setup.